So this is the USB drive that was plugged into my Fire Stick. Let me just show you how fast it is for me to copy a 2.2 gigabyte movie file directly onto that stick. So let me click on paste. And here we can just see guys, that's gonna take around about two minutes. Just to show you that what kind of speeds you can expect when you do use a USB drive on your Fire Stick or really any Android device, what kind of speeds can you expect when you're opening up large applications or large games, when you're copying data or moving files, that's the typical speed you're going to get when you are using a USB drive. Okay, so that took about four minutes to copy across that 2.2 gigabyte file. Let me now show you what difference an SSD drive can make in this process. And here is my SSD drive. Let me now paste across that same 2.2 gig file. Click on paste. And just look at that guys, that's pushing some serious amounts of data. That's writing 2.2 gigs onto the SSD drive in less than 10 seconds, just so you can see how fast an SSD is compared to a typical USB drive. Now, one of the biggest issues with the 4K Fire Stick is the fact that it has a very, very limited storage. Now, fortunately, you can expand the storage by using a simple OTG cable. This OTG cable plugs into your Fire Stick where you normally plug in the power cable, like that. Over here, you plug in your power cable and we now have a full size USB port. Now in this USB port, you can attach USB devices like keyboards, like mice. And in my previous example, I actually added in a USB flash drive. Now the only issue with the USB drive is the performance. Now the performance of this compared to an SSD drive, it literally is just night and day difference. So allow me to introduce the SanDisk Extreme Pro portable SSD drive. Now I did do a video using this on my Nvidia Shield Pro just to show you how amazing that performance was. And in this video today, let me show you how you can actually plug this into your 4K Fire Stick. You can then expand the storage and then start moving all of your applications off the internal storage onto the SSD drive. On top of that, I'll show you how you can actually split the drive so some of the storage can be used for your internal applications and the other portion can be used as a standard USB drive, which you can then use across all of your different devices. So do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. <laughs> If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so to start this process, just make sure you've gone over to my tutorials page using Downloader. Click on this tutorial here, which is on how you can increase the storage of your 4K Fire Stick. Scroll down. And here you'll find the link to install Remote ADB Shell. So you can click on that, scroll down and install it from there. That's the only real bit of software you need for this process. So download that and install that onto your device. Let's now press the home key. Okay, so you've plugged in your SSD drive into the OTG cable onto your 4K Fire Stick. The next thing we need to do is actually format that drive so the Fire Stick can see that as internal storage. Now, just for clarification, we're going to be talking about internal storage, and that's basically the storage where the Fire Stick can actually install applications to, we can move applications to it, and then you have external storage. External storage can be used on the Fire Stick or any other device. I could plug the SSD into my PC and then maybe copy across some applications or copy across some uh, movie files or video files. I could then plug that into my Fire Stick and then access that content. Whereas with internal storage, the only place where you can access it is where you did the initial format. So if I plug that into another Fire Stick, if I plug that into my PC, I'm not going to be able to see the contents of that internal storage. Okay, so to begin the process, we're going to use Remote ADB Show, which is on my tutorials page. Let's open that up. And because we're going to make a connection to our Fire Stick, we can leave the IP address as 127.0.0.1. Let's scroll down and click on connect. And we've gone straight in. Now to type these commands, although they're not very long, I do recommend using the Fire TV application, which is available for Android and for iOS. It just makes the typing so much easier. So let me get my Android phone. Okay, so I've made a connection to my Fire Stick. I can now click on the keyboard. So the first command we need to type in is to ask the Fire Stick, which USB connected drives can you see? Now the command for that is just SM space and then list hyphen disks. Now, of course, if you don't want to use the remote application, you can just use the standard remote control and type these commands in. So for example, if I just delete something here, 
If I now just press the select button, we can see that I can actually type that command in just by using the on-screen keyboard. So once again, it's just SM space list disks. Let's click on run. And this will now show us which USB based drives it can actually see connected to the Fire Stick. And it basically gives you a disk ID. Now in pretty much all cases I've done the test, whether I've done it on a USB drive or with the SSD, the disk ID always seems to be 8,0. But do double check on your device because you need to use this ID to do the actual format. Okay, so now that we have the disk ID, we now need to choose how we're going to format our SSD drive or whichever drive you're using. Now, if you want to format all of it as internal storage, which basically means you're going to use all of the capacity for applications for your Fire Stick, which again means you can move applications, you can install applications and all of that stuff, then the command for that is just SM space partition space and then disk. And here we need to enter in the disk ID. So it's actually disk colon and then the disk ID. So in our case is eight comma zero. That's the disk ID there. The command just ends with private, which basically means format this disk as completely private or internal storage. Now in my example, because my SSD drive is 250 gig, I really don't want to allocate all of that for the Fire Stick because that's just you know too much space just for applications. So because I don't want to format all of it as internal storage, my command doesn't end with private. I take that bit out and I replace that with mixed because we're saying we want to mix the storage between internal and external. So the command is mixed space and we now need to specify which percentage of our total drive do we want to allocate as external storage, i.e. the storage that you can use on any device. Now in my example, because my drive is 250 gig, I want to allocate 80% to external storage, which means I'll then have 20% for my internal applications. Now 20% of 250 gig is around about 50 gig or so. So I think that's more than enough storage for our Fire Stick application. So let me now type in mixed 80. So final check the command is SM space partition space disk and then colon. You then type in your disk ID and in our case it's 8 comma 0 space mix because we want to mix internal and external and then the percentage that you want to allocate as external storage. And again in my example I'm going to allocate 80% of my drive as external storage. Let's now click on that and let's click on run. Let's press the back button. And that's now all done. So as long as you don't see any kind of error message, that's now completed. Now another command you can type in here just to see what is the size of our newly created internal partition on our USB drive. The command for that is just DF space minus H. Let's type that in. Let's click on that and click on run. Let's press the back button. And there we just see we have 46 gigs of internal storage that we can now use to install our applications on our 4K Fire Stick. So that's it guys. I mean, compared to the couple of gigs we had before, we now have a ton of storage available. Let's now press the home key. Now the first test is going to be if I do install an application from the official Amazon App Store, where does the application install to? Does it go to our newly allocated SSD drive or does it still default to internal storage? The next test is going to be if we do install an application from Downloader or from File Linked, again, where does the application install to? And the last test is going to be, I'm going to show you an application which is already on the internal storage and then I'll show you how you can actually move that to your new SSD drive. Okay, let's now do the first test. Let's just go to the Amazon App Store and let's just search for an application like Speed Test. Uh, let's just go for the first one over here. And let's now click on Install or Download. And let's see where this application actually installs to. And let's just open up to make sure that's working okay. And that's working fine, let's back out of that. Let's press the Home key. Let's now go to our Applications, Manage Installed Applications. And here we can just see guys, this application is actually installed to the internal storage because if it had installed to our SSD drive, there'll actually be a USB logo next to it. Let's just do one more test just to confirm. Let's give this one over here. Again, let's click on download. Let's click on open just to make sure it's working okay. Let's again go back to our application list. Let's see now where did the second application install to. And we can see in this example, this application did actually install directly to our SSD drive. And we can confirm that just by the logo we can see there. So I think that kind of confirms that it's not going to be a case of every application that you download from the Amazon App Store will always default to the internal storage or to the SSD drive. It's all going to depend on how the application is actually written because some of these applications only know about the internal storage. 
Okay, that was the first test. Let's now go to Downloader. And let's see if we do download an application from our website or anywhere else. Let's just install uh, Peacock TV. Click on Install. That's now all done. Let's click on Open, just to make sure that's working okay. That's working fine. Let's press the Home key. Go back to Settings. Go back to Applications. Manage and install applications. And we can just see that Peacock TV did install to the SSD drive. And we can confirm that by the USB logo next to it. But if I do remember correctly, in the past, every application that I did download from Downloader or from Farlinked, in every example, all of those applications did actually default to the SSD drive or to the USB drive. Let's just install one more application. And here we can see, again, that application, because we did download it through Downloader, has defaulted to the SSD drive. So I think it is safe to say that if you do side load applications from Farlinked or from Downloader, all of them will now go over to your SSD drive or to your USB drive, and they won't take up any space on your internal storage. Okay, so the last test, which is how do we migrate an application over to our SSD drive? Now, there's two ways to do this. Um, probably the easiest way, if you have sideloaded the application, the easiest way is just to uninstall it and then reinstall it again, because when you do reinstall it again, it will actually default to the USB drive or to the SSD drive. Now, if you don't want to uninstall it for whatever reason, maybe you've got some settings in there or maybe you've changed something and you want to keep all of those settings as they are, but you want to migrate the application from the internal storage over to your USB drive, how do you do that? So let's say, for example, we want to move the virus total mobile application, which we can see currently is on the internal storage. Okay, let's press the home key. And let's now open up Remote ADB Shell again. So the first thing we need to do is find the package name for the application. Now you can use a third party tool called App Info, which I do have on my downloads page to find that. The other way you can find it is by typing in a command. Now that command is just PM space list packages. Let's type that in. Let's run that command. And this will basically show you all of the installed packages on your Fire Stick or whichever device you're doing this on. Now, some of these names may be a bit confusing, but I know, for example, with Virus Total, we can see there it is. So the package name for that is com.funnycat.virustotal. So once you have the package name, the next thing you need is your actual volume ID of your SSD drive or your USB drive. Now, to find that out, we type in the command that we used before, which was just df space minus h. Let's run that. And there we can see where it says expand. That section after it, which begins 5B and ends in B5, that's my actual volume ID of my SSD drive. And that's what I need to copy and paste. Now to do that, I can now bring up my virtual mouse. Here it is. I can now copy and paste this bit here. So to copy and paste, I'm gonna press the select button and then scroll to the right. So press and hold, scroll to the right, keep going. And that's all of it there. When I let go, we get the option to copy. So that's how you copy the volume ID. That's now copied. Okay, so I can now type in the whole command here. And the command is just PM space move hyphen package. And we now need to enter in the package name for the application we want to move. And our example, it was just com dot funny cat virus total space and the last part of the command is you now need to paste in your volume ID. So let me bring up my virtual mouse. I can now click at the bottom here. I can go to the top, go to the right, press and hold here, and I should get the option to paste. So I know it's a little bit fiddly, guys, but once you get the hang of it, it's very, very easy to do, especially once you start using or utilizing your copy and paste buffer. Let's click on paste, and let's now click on run. Let's see if that works first time. Let's click on that. Press the pack button. Do we get an error message? No, we get a success, guys. So that's now gone in. And the way we confirm that, if I press the home key, go to settings, and let's go to the bottom here. And what's happened to virus total? We can see it now has the USB logo next to it. So do give a thumbs up for that, guys. And that's how you move applications from internal storage over to your USB drive. Now, the reason why I was saying it gets easier is because let's say, for example, I now want to move something else. I can press the home key. I can go back to the remote ADB show. And the next time I want to move an application, I can just press and hold the select button. This then brings up all of the commands I've previously typed in. And here we can see is the last command. I can just click on that. There's the command there. And I can now press the back button. And I can now, for example, 
modify the command. So in this example, I don't want to move a uh, virus total. I can delete that out and then replace that with another package name. So once you've got your volume ID, just replacing the package name with the applications you want to move, it does make it a lot easier. So let's press the home key. That's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Lots of you are asking on how we can expand the internal storage of our Fire Stick and actually use something a bit faster than a standard USB drive. So I do hope you like this video. Do let me know and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.